We're gonna spend our last few days in Port Barton. Most tourists are going directly from Puerto Princess to Unido. Unfortunately, the road takes 8 hours by bus and it's not the most pleasant experience. But there is a better option. You can stay for a few days in Port Barton, which is exactly in the middle. The road from El Nido to Port Barton takes around four and a half hours. When we arrived, our first task was to find accommodation. We decided to spend a little bit more money and book a hotel on the beach. Be careful if you come to Port Barton, there are no ATMs here, so make sure you bring some cash with you. Perfect morning starts from a sunrise. You're gonna wake up from the sound of roosters and the prayers coming up from the nearby church. After a short swim, it's time for a breakfast. chocolate and pancakes with honey will make the start of the day perfect. Time to get on our boat. As always, we get a private boat because we don't want to be restricted by time. The island hopping on Port Burton cannot be compared to Unido. Here everything is much smaller and closer. But the places are amazing. First of all, there are not so many tourists and second, it's not a party place. Most people come here to enjoy the nature and relax. At first we went to check the area around, to see what is more interesting for us. This is for example how a pearl plantation looks like. But we are heading to a nice beach with palms and unforgettable snorkeling. From all the places German Island liked the most. If you book a trip, you will have a very nice lunch here. This place is amazing to do some photos for Instagram, sunbathe or even stay on the beach with a book for a couple of hours. Right next to the island is the turtle point. Here there are around 10 turtles living. They are active in the morning when there are not so many tourists around. After 12 o'clock they rest on the bottom of the reef. Usually the captain will help you to find where they sleep, so hold your breath and swim. There are quite a lot of tourists trying to have a photo with the turtle, but it's very hard because they are on the bottom which is like 7 meters. So if you cannot dive, you will not be able to get close to them. My camera fucked up the quality of the video, so we woke up on the next morning and we went early before other tourists. In the morning they are active and swim in shallow water. Here the maximum depth is 3 meters, so even people who cannot dive can enjoy a swim with them. One very interesting spot is the Starfish Island. It's a sandbar that gets completely submerged into the sea during high tide. The reef around is very beautiful as well, but the main attraction here are the starfishes that you can find all around.
it's very important not to keep the starfish out of the water for a long time, otherwise they will die. So, if you want to make a photo with them, take them, make the photo and put them back immediately. The reefs around Port Barton are amazing. They are very healthy and the corals are very beautiful. Before dinner, it's time to do some sport. We choose to try paddleboard. Renting one is very cheap compared to Germany, and it's a lot of fun. Watching the sunset and having dinner on the beach is unforgettable. This is the last video from the Philippines and I can truly say that the Filipino people were one of the most nice people I've met till now and that made our vacation even better. If you like the videos, don't forget to subscribe and put a like.